Today we're at the Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show at the NEC. It's 2024. We come here every year. Let's go and have a good look round. We've managed to make it to the wild duck stand which Will missed when he came on his own without me last time so you've got to blame him. We've got a couple of MAN vans here which are quite interesting to have a look around so this is the Altair RL. Sleeps three has four seat belts so let's go take a look. Okay let's go so what do we have here? I always feel strange coming into vans on the proper side for the UK. So we've got a dinette area here then, the raised floor coming up to this. I presume this looks like it converts into your other bed somehow. You see it was a three look. berth? It is a three berth. Yeah, it will do that, bed, So that's going to convert there. And look at this, induction hob. Very, Very nice. nice. And there's a kitchen extension here. Looks like that just sort of pulls up and into place. I won't put that there because otherwise Will won't be able to come in after me. I forgot. Uh, good size, nice little rectangular sink there. There's a load of cupboards actually here. Big amount of storage. They're huge. Yeah, huge drawers. Not entirely sure how they work. Oh, there we ah, go. Right, push so the, yeah. push the button. There we go. Just got to give it a good positive click to shut. And we've got, oh, a pull-out larder. That's a nice idea. It's got, can you see it from that side? No, no. there's three drawers in here, um, all this same size. So you use that for your tins and jars and That's a good idea. bits and pieces. That's quite nice. And then another three big drawers. Wow. And then another, oh, teeny little one. Oh, that's got a hiding little table in there. That you can pull out which is going to be for this area i think as your it looks like little it. dining table because you've obviously got what's the, one the out fold down, down flap fold on down the wall. flap on the wall oh well spotted cupboard oh handy little shelf it's a little bit of a slant do you wonder whether you open that and everything you need a little net in there you need something in there yeah truma control there panel for heating yeah oh and a microwave little dometic Very microwave nice. installed there and then these are a couple of overhead compartments there. That's quite nice actually, you just literally grab and open with a good hinge on them. We've got a... Big Dometic fridge. Big Dometic That's fridge a... with a freezer box in there too. Can you get that in there, Will? Yeah, nice. It's one of the twin opening ones, isn't it, as well? You can yes, open it the other can side. Open it from That's that handy. Side. Oh, I should have done that for Will there then, shouldn't I? <laughs> Let's have a look at that. There we go. Yeah. They're handy, those fridges, aren't they? It is handy. There's another cupboard up here. Oh, crikey, that's enormous. You've got big I'm, spaces. I'm not even sure I could reach to the back of that. Really big spaces. Really big spaces. Yeah, just checking I haven't missed anything. And the bathroom here with this roller shutter door. OK. Quite nice Ooh, and there. simple. Quick look in Squared there. Squared off, toilet. Got a good size shower tray in that too. Nice little sink, actually, there. Two. I'm not sure there's any storage in here though. Can't see anything that you there's can. Oh, there's behind. one here. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Just same as in the kitchen. Nice little strip lights. Great. Okay. And a rear U lounge in this one. Yeah. So there's a cupboard built into this side here. That's your wardrobe. Oh, so that's got your pole in here. Do you want to come and have a look around? That's the pole for your table, which was stored in the kitchen. Okay. And your rail for the clothing and you've got more cupboards up here uh, there so just <laughs> oh and you've got a three on this side too here being in here this feels like it's a 6.8 meter van doesn't it's, it it's a long van yeah, yeah this is a long wheelbase so when you put this bed out you're going to be sleeping lengthways, lengthways in it rather than massive bed the van. when it's you a lovely big bed, when you join it? the bits up at the front here, that although be this huge side's bed. going to be short because you've got your bathroom yeah and poking into it there so not too bad it's for someone nice, like me nicely made i tell mm, you it does feel nice it does feel nice lots of uh your windows here with your little pull-up blinds and your pull-up pull-down blinds and your pull-up mosquito nets 
I've just noticed in the front here as well, it's got the fitted uh, blinds and everything on the windscreen and around the windows and everything. So that makes life a bit easier. Some more storage cupboards up here too. Very nice. And I think and the, skylight. I'll need to double check, but I'm pretty sure this is gasless. I would uh, imagine because it is. Because it's got diesel heating, I think. It's got yeah. an induction hob, which usually means they've got lithium batteries and solar and everything else. Let's just have a quick look at the uh, sign outside. Mm. So yeah, this is the Altair RL, three berth, four seat belt, 6.4, so, sorry, 6.8 metre van. Meter, yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, when we just have a quick look at the spec here, look, three kilowatt inverter. Uh, it's got a 400 watts of solar panels. Wow. It's, um, it's a lot of solar. It's it? a lot of solar, yeah. Oh, uh, it's got the uh, fly screen for the door as well. We missed that out, didn't yeah. we? And 93,995, so under a hundred thousand pounds. Or well, this one, if you or want, got your auto with, with, gearbox. With an auto gearbox. Yeah. But really, in, in today's world, and I realise it's everything's moved on price-wise. It's an in awful today's lot of world, money. It's a lot of money, but, but actually when you compare it to others, money, yeah. that's a good-looking van for the money. Mm. Let's have a look at the other one. Exciting. Right, so this is the other one then. It's the Altair RS Sport. Uh, now, this does have a sports pack on, which is £7,300 no. extra. But I tell you what, it does make it look quite trick. So it's got wheels, it's got laser lights in the grill, it's got like, you know, spoilers and all sorts all over it. It looks pretty epic. Uh, so price for this van that we're about to look around, £104,000, has broken that six figure sum. But as standard, without a few of those options, 93, so same as the other one. And the difference with this one is it's a two berth. Um, so it doesn't try to add extra um beds or anything in and it's a fixed rear bed so yeah. let's go and have a look two seat belts as well so you're only ever going to have two people in this van for traveling now i like this oh i like this it's a little baby seat because it's got kind of you know you can just you could just you know yeah on his own that's what on he's my own on doing. away just having a nice time getting away from everything and no wife <laughs> No dog. I didn't say that. You implied it, Will. But I tell you what, it could be good. I t the other overwhelming smell when you come in here. Leather. leather. It's, leather. it's nice, isn't it? This is beautiful. Really, really nicely done. Right, let's have another look then. So kitchen block, very, very similar. Obviously induction yeah. hob, Dubetic sink. It's, All your I cupboards exactly just the same, the same exactly the same. Uh, fridge has moved onto this side. Uh, so it's here this oh, okay. time instead. Still the double opening still one. Still the double it? opening one, microwave, still the same. We've got cupboards here, which again, basically the same. Um, tables in one of the cupboards. The other one here has got a ladder. Ooh. So you can get up to bed because... Up to bed? Well, I'm look. Intrigued. Look how high Ooh. it is. So um, it's quite quite a high bed. You still sleep long ways, yeah, which is good. Um, bathroom, Sarah, I'll show you in a second, but basically the same as the RL. Mm -hmm. And then when you come back here, you've got oh, just jump on here. That mattress is really thick. That is a really really, really, really junky mattress. Uh, so you've got this piece here, which fills in, which probably slides out doesn't it i think there's going to be a board slide out or there'll be a board, there'll be a board somewhere which there? that piece will slot into like that yeah. to make your bed or you can have two singles and then a place to step down to Lovely tons of bed. cupboards everywhere all lovely under cabinet lighting and everything it's a beautiful nice lighting isn't it really quite warm and cozy nice that you've got a couple of windows on the sides as mm. well uh, looks really good build quality looks superb I think this Feels is another like a nice place to another, be, doesn't it? another cracking van. Mm. And uh, really sorry we didn't look at these last time for you because I can see why you wanted us to take a look. It's just brilliant and no no gas. We thought, seeing as there's a lovely new Columbus here, that we'd give you a little bit of a walk around. So this is the new Westphalia internal kit out of the Decato. So probably. And I'm kind of guessing here what's to come for the Sven in maybe. future years, maybe, maybe something along those lines. So you can see immediately we've got quite a different sort of interior panelling and texture here. So this is a kind of uh, a wood sort of... Um, it's like a foiling, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, foil on it. Now you've still got your Westphalia detailing here. What's this? Oh, 
kind of utensils or something. And you know what? Why is that, Will? That mm. is the same on the other side. Is it? Get in. Got one of those funky so, fridges that you can a, open both yeah, sides. Yeah, one of these double-sided fridges. So let's open it on the side that's easy for you guys to see. So Good they've, size. they've done away with the pull-out fridge with the drawers. So we've got a normal, in inverted commas, um, dometic fridge with this funky little Very LCD nice. thing. I'm not entirely sure that's telling us much at the moment, but it's there. So you can open it, let's say, from this side too. Nice lighter coloured flooring is, in here as yeah. well now. Okay, so what have we got in here? So they're sticking with gas by the looks of things. So you've got your two burner hob up here. This feels very high, actually. That Me being a shorty high, it? does feel high and a sink, so I'm pretty sure that's the same. These then, are a bit uh, more sculpted, aren't they, in yeah, terms of being able to store things? With... These are metal. Very nice. Chunky, yeah. And uh, some bungee things, things here, so got... plugs, your little light switches, feel quite nice. And this is and a D model, which ones. means that you sleep across ways at the yes. back. Yes, so at the back here, like that. So what have they done with these cupboards now then? Because these are a bit different, aren't they? Push them. So you've got your little one there. Oh, okay, yeah. That's quite nice and positive. There. Okay, so yeah, you've got what, nice. one, two, three, four, five of those, and then I'm sure Will will come and do a swap with me in a second. And there's a little hanging rail I can um, film just that over from in the back. this corner, yeah. so yeah, he can come and show you that in a second. And then your bathroom. So have they changed much of this? So they've thought about that look. Oh, oh, that's close. That's close, but it opens. So toilet, got your shower up here, a couple of mirrors. Bit of storage space. Nice, easy, clean wipe no, down no. as well, which I is always don't good. I think there's a shower curtain. No, that's a wet room. There is definitely no rail for a shower curtain. Mm, so need to check complete that. Complete wet room by the looks of it. Okay. There's a lot of silicon sealant around, which is what was making me guess that that's the case. Okay. So quite nice to get a little window over there. I'm sure you saw as well. Right there. And what else have we got in this kitchen? Because I didn't tell you about that, did I? So this will be the other side then. Yes, yeah, it is. So you can just open okay. it both sides. Yeah, cool. I'm Little not sure that's going to be a, a, no, that's going to be a rattling, not rattling sure about nightmare. That, but some good drawers, staying with these normal, again in inverted commas, kind of latches. Oh, lovely soft clothes. Very nice. And another one down there, and then a cupboard. So, oh, they made this into a bit more of a pantry look. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Now there's a question. Oh, can you buy those separately? For the Sven. For the Sven. Pull it out again. Pull yeah, it out again. Nice. So they are Hetich ones. Hetich. So we'll be looking at that. So there's three <laughs> of those that all sit in there. That's quite a nice idea. They've got a good spring on them. That's And the bottom them, one's bigger, I think. It's the deeper around. one by the looks Let's of have it. a look. Yes, it is. Yeah, I like the look of that. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. What they've also managed to keep in here as well, which is quite a nice feature of these uh, Westphalias. So you've got this little box down here, which doubles up as you step to help you get into the bed. But a shoe box Very or nice. tea towels or whatever you might want to keep in there. Very handy. So up front here, your little dinette area. And you'll be pleased to know they've kept the little Westphalia thing of being able to pull up this bar and shuffle it forward. And you can have a little bit more of a reclined That's nice, that. position there, which is it's nice. a good feature. So you've, got, you've still got your undercovered lighting and everything at yep. the back, a bit of mood lighting. Arms aren't long Biggest enough, window you can fit, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, bearing in mind this is a 5.4 metre van. This is a small van that you could easily park in a normal car space. There's a yeah, lot going on in there's here. There's a lot going on. Oh, and you've got a. And, and, and. in this one. <laughs> Pop top. It's got a pop top. So you can actually sleep four. So that's the Columbus 540D, and as shown, 82769 for a 5.4 metre van. Admittedly, it can sleep four, but that's quite yeah, some I mean, money. Yeah, included in that price, they have put in your immobiliser and a tracker okay. as well. So there's a little bit that's of good. extras in there, and um, above and beyond what would come from. I like the new yeah. finish though. Looks good. Yeah, nice. Oh, I can't wait to have a look at these cactus. They look absolutely superb. Let's have a quick look inside. 
the layout stay as in your but we will discuss it. Look at this flooring in here. This looks stunning, doesn't it? Really does just shows you what is possible with this MAN base van. This mood lighting just looks absolutely stunning. Beautiful materials in here. Obviously they've gone gasless in here, so you've got induction hob, pull out worktop. I can't, honestly, these drawers, the way that they pull in and out are absolutely smooth as silk. Just stunning, everything metal, no plastic. Bits of lighting inside the cupboards. Morning. You've got a ladder here which yes. lifts, folds away. Just superb attention to detail. Quick look in the bathroom. It's like being in a Scandinavian posh Airbnb, honestly. It's absolutely incredible. I love all the black fittings. Sculpted sink. Obviously, you've still got a Thetford toilet in here. But it's just incredible. And over this side, look. Integrated TV. They've even in the roof. Put in glass in the roof so you can see the stars when you're in bed. Just having a look at the long wheelbase version gives you a bit more space. Look at that kitchen area there, those beautiful curves. The use of different materials is absolutely incredible. I love that curve on there. That underfloor, under cabinet lighting as well. Still got the ladder, which disappears away. And this beautiful curve here on the bathroom. They want me to open this bathroom door then for Let's the have a ultimate look. reveal. <laughs> it's a lovely curved it door is. as I disappear behind it. So you've got the sink which is in the curve at the back. Beautiful shower, all black furniture, recess shower tray as well. So you've actually got a bit more, bit more depth to it. Yeah, so you take nice, that duckboard out, you get a bit more depth in there as well. Obviously an integrated cupboard and everything here. They've made every inch of space work in here. You've got ventilation in the roof. You've got this beautiful Perspex roof as well. So you can see at night and these funky little openers here. I do like this idea of a built-in ladder to be able to get into bed. That's just superb because it folds up into here. It just gets it out of the way, doesn't it? Box. It really does. Yeah, very nice. And in this 6.8 metre van, twin hob. This. Uh, Nice curved bit of storage here. Yeah. Some good storage up here. Up at the top. I think my only comment about these vans in any way, shape or form is these handles, they look brilliant, but you can catch your clothes on them. Um, it's not that they're sharp, but they just obviously stick out and they've got an angle on them. Um, but this van being a little bit obviously longer than the other one, you've got a bit more space because they haven't had to close everything in quite so much. It's very nice, it's beautifully made. It is, absolutely stunning van. So always really keen to have a look around the hillside stand. Usually got a brilliant selection to have a look at. And the uh, Hopton, which is their bigger van, look at this green on this one though in the meantime, wow. the. Uh, the hillside Hopton that they do 
we're a big fan of. Although, personally, the rear lounge isn't really for us, uh, the Hopton, as a van, really, we think is fantastic value for money. So, Sarah is no doubt going to go and jump inside this one. This is 87,000. Uh, this particular one with all of these options. So you can see there, so this is the 140 horsepower automatic, obviously metallic paint, other bits and pieces. It's got 1,500 pounds with the wheels on, but I do the like build quality in these. Threadboards for some reason. Okay. Nice sink, lovely stainless steel, very shiny. Shiny, and shiny. I, it's the quality again. It's the, beautiful. The, the build quality in these vans is really, really good. Feels lovely. It does feel it does. really, really nice. So, bathroom. Oh, it's a sliding door. Here we go. Ta da! Very nice. Now, I'm pretty sure in these as well, they've moved over to diesel heating now, too. Okay. Um, obviously, still got gas in these ones for the hob. And then in here. Bye bye. It's a big, that's a big space again, isn't it's it? It's quite a nice way they've done this because you end up with a really big shower actually because the sink folds up completely out of the way. Now, if Will wants to come and show you that, we can do a little bit of a swap over. You can switch around that corner. Oh, yeah, it's got a pull down sink. Yeah. I think, if anything, that's probably the only thing which starts to make this feel a little, little bit dated, but. I'm sure they're working on it. Yeah. So you've got actually an induction hob here as well. So a couple of gas rings, That's induction nice. hob, which is nice. And a little kind of oveny grill thing too. Dometic. Handy. Very good. Very, very handy. Nice big drawers. So a nice kind of positive pull. Oh, what's that hidden in there? Oh, so that's your... That's the gas controls. Gas controls, isn't it, as well? Yep. So very a bit good. of a cutlery drawer there and some other drawers and bits kind of around here oh what's that then so big drawer and a little drawer very good in there very nice and it looks like you get one enormous drawer by the all accounts down here oh so it's the same kind of thing so it doesn't pull out that far but two drawers they're, they're just maximizing kind of within, space yeah, to again, really maximize it yeah there's obviously going to be some heating stuff or something behind this cupboard and they've here. gone for a rear kind of twin singles but would convert into a long and because they've Double. raised this here, look, you've get got your loads under. of room for it's your actually feet the same length, on both isn't it? sides. So yeah, both both people get the same length of bed. Yeah, because the, the kitchen okay. overhangs as well. Kitchen overhangs there. You've got a couple of three pin sockets on the end of this as well, okay. which is helpful. And then your fridge is up here by the looks of it. How do we open this? It's a single opener, is it? Just the same. Don't force it. There we go. <laughs> I've learnt that. Yeah. You never Fr ever force anything. Fridge box, okay. all the usual. Yeah. Nice. And it looks like this, this is just another tall cupboard over here. I like so. this dark headlining in here. I know that, that'll really split opinion. This finish here, though, is beautiful. That's it's new. I've not seen finish. that on a Hopton before. It's really nice. It does feel lovely. More controllers in there. More cupboards. Really nice and solid cupboards there. Couple of little lights. Yeah, just switch these ones on there. It's not entirely sure. <laughs> not sure. But you can guarantee when I find it, I'll manage to blind myself because I'll be looking directly into it. Beautiful uh, upholstery in here again. Lovely leather, isn't it? And oh, and there's some storage under here too, look. Now that's really handy to be able to get into those because sometimes you can only get in from yeah. the top or the end, can't you? So that's nice. And They've then look, a... you've got another two on this side. So this one here, which you need to be careful I don't fall out the back of the van. Yeah, so they've that's, done a nice job of that. That's the whole depth. Yeah. There. And there's another one here just near where Will's standing. So you've got quite a bit of room to store things like outdoor chairs and things. That's quite nice just being a pull-out drawer, actually. It is. Very good. Very Although good. I'd have it in orange like the one behind you. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the CJL Leisure Stand and as always, look at this beautiful van they've got. Drawn to this for a few reasons. Funky like metallic gold wrappy wave thing that they've got on this. That is amazing. It's got orange leather inside. Oh, that's Ooh. brave. Which we'll go and have a look at in a minute, but two other reasons and these are arguably more important to us other than the orange leather which could be a thing uh, 
This sidestep. I like this. Look at this. Now for Sarah, that could be absolutely game changing. Game changer. Game changing. Game changer. So we're going to have to have a look at that. And it's got an integrated ladder as well. Look for you to be able to get up onto the roof. I don't know whether I need that. I mean, CGL um, Leisure, because they make all of this integrated side pod, you can see it kind of blends in with the ladder and everything. It's just like super, super cool. Very nice. But it's these wheels. So these wheels, mm. although everyone will have seen these before, satin black, OZ, Rally Raids, that is the wheel that we're thinking about having on the Sven. So let us know in the comments below whether you'd have those wheels or whether you'd have something else. <laughs> Not those tyres though, maybe. So let's go and have a look inside because we know how stunning this is. The way that they fit these out. Oh, wow. It's just. Oh, I like those like pull out else. drawer things, look. They've got yeah, pull out drawers. Very look, nice. at, look at their own print on the zip in pockets and everything. That is nice. I also like the that's fact like, they've got transparent things yeah, on all the electrics. Good. Bit geeky. Well, it's just glass doors. I don't think you call them, them transparent things. I think it's just glass doors. Well, <laughs> I like the roller shutter thing there, look, as well, for you to be able to get into the garage from the front. That is very, very cool. Anyway, let's go I and like have a look that. at this van's best feature. Arguably, if you were Will. The orange leather. I don't think he's having let's orange leather let's in this van. <laughs> yes, 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 and yes. Yeah, it's a bit much for me. Yes. But I know why Will likes it. Happy boy. Yes, that, that is just yes for me. Whether it'd work in a kind of seashore blue flannel grey no. van, not no. so sure. It's a no. <laughs> but I do like that and good on them for putting it in a van. I mean, obviously they're doing it for the show, aren't they? And this van is 150,000 um, pounds. You should see Sarah's face, <laughs> but uh, Speechless. It, it is stunning. And again, I, everyone for the show, everybody just chucks everything they possibly can at their demo vans so that they look stunning under all these amazing lights. Yeah. They pick like fancy colors and everything to, so it just shows them off, but that really does pop. It really does. I'm not sure with these blue jeans on, it would last very long. <laughs> right, where we go next? Right, we're on the rolling homestand because I'd read that they've got a new, is it Crafter or MAN? Crafter, same, same thing anyway, but it's on a Volkswagen Crafter. They've got a new van uh, with a new interior and everything else that we can have a look around. So it's called the Darwin. Let's have a look. Right, so first impressions. Lovely kind of duck egg blue leather. Oh, with a tartany with a bit nice in the middle as well. With a nice tartany kind of wool fabric in there. Very I nice. I like that. That is different. Very nice. Uh, obviously got the blinds on the windows and everything all integrated. Very nice. To excuse our luggage that's been unceremoniously dumped on the seat there, if you can and see. And then that. when Sarah spins round. I'm spinning without this, trying to make them feel too sick. This is interesting. We're oh, split, split kitchen. We're split. Ah. So we've got combined induction hob, gas rings. You've seen that already. Yeah, with a little duplexy oven thing. Yeah, um, which is all good. This side, really heavy duty. I mean, I, I'm just yeah, going to hand that really, to... Yeah. You don't want that to fall out there and hit it's, you over the head when you're doing emergency stuff. If you've stuff, got an, you? an intruder in the middle of the night, I tell you what, mm. if you whack them over the head with that, they'd know about it. So really nice Corel. That's work service service surface. surface and this i think that's a fixed one because you've got your sink yeah. there then you've got beautiful it's, covers are and they rolling, solid wood or yeah rolling yeah. homes if anybody doesn't know the cabinets Cabinetry and the wood is beautiful is really very nice top quality really really very nice so you're probably thinking where's the bathroom because i'm standing where the bed's going to be well just a second because we got I've microwave spotted up here it's like home microwave. from home home from home in here and then that's when you've got your storage <clears throat> down the sides yeah big big cupboards and that's on both sides so you've got three stores on one side and two on the other but then when you and come these... to the back here you think well wh where where's, where's your, your toilet bathroom? where's your toilet well come to that so here you've got a six foot two bed on the right hand side a six foot bed on the left hand side uh, and it can be made with the um, bits that go in the middle here 
all these lie down yeah. and then you've got a super king size I'm really double. liking this lighting down here and this floor That's as well really everything pretty. is just so light in here yeah it's beautiful Lovely floor so because it's a long wheelbase van follow on what that means and is say to will as he shuts the door <laughs> yeah and then we should probably carry on from the back really shouldn't we but this is the toilet okay so. so if you shut the door now then at least people can see what it looks like with the end in there so that's beautiful how that fits together really yeah. nice um, so, so yeah you've got beautiful that's it. ceramic ceramic sink wow. metal taps very nice toilet swiveling, swiveling domestic toilet and look at this flooring it's it's the same it so is. there's no no transition there into the bathroom so there's no shower tray there so honestly you Will might end up taking the camera off me here to this, show this, you this, this shower tray honestly bye bye, -bye. <laughs> so here's the shower tray built in on the other side obviously you've got a wheel a wheel arch there so they've got to box that in but you've got an actual glass shower door proper shower obviously you've got ventilation and things in the roof here with a bit of lighting i'm enjoying wow. sitting here wow we've got these cupboards under here too look very nice We've been waiting for Rolling Homes to do a bigger van for a while, and I yeah. tell you what, they've done a stunning job. And you know what I've just spotted as well? Did you know we make each camper van bespoke for each person? And that Colours. means down here as well, look, or we can make a custom bed length to suit you. Ah, so if you're six foot seven... And you want a longer bed... They'll, they'll somehow do it. do it somehow not entirely sure how or what you might or maybe lose. if you're five foot and you want more kitchen and you want loads of cabinets loads or of a kitchen. massive shower yeah <laughs> and a teeny tiny little bed <laughs> yeah we don't know quite the extremes of what they can do no, but, but obviously shows it's bespoke doesn't yeah, it yeah very nice and this on here this is really lovely nice fabric really nice fabric because we're thinking about maybe doing something like this on the Sven when we yeah. get it because it's a it's very uh, automotive Plastic. inside isn't it yeah. the Sven but something a little bit uh, so. softer might be nice good fly net. Oh, very nice very nice colored. nice colors there yeah. very nice indeed so how much is this one that we've just had a look around this makes me sad this one actually is meant to be £118,152. I'm not sure why they haven't put some pence on there as well, just to make it a little bit more precise. Um, but they are actually, as a launch price, giving you cracking on for seven grand of extras free. So it brings it down to the bargain sum of £111,000. We've got but to it hold is a it. Beautiful van. E exactly. It's and beautiful. bespoke made, the cabinets are incredible. They are just yeah. a, a stunning, stunning van. I think you also have to put it in perspective of the smaller T6.1s and the five metre vans, which are now getting really expensive to yeah. 70, 80, maybe even 90,000. Yeah. So you when know, you look at it's a much bigger van as well. A bigger van, more kit in it, bathroom, yeah, etc. You're getting, you are getting a lot more for your money, but yes, it is a lot of money, and we are not blind to that in any way, shape, or form. Don't worry, we've not forgotten our roots with a 6.1 transporter. This is an Eco Wagon Expo Plus. Again, beautifully made inside. This is a long wheelbase, so you've got a good amount of space inside. Fantastic coachwork in here. And a brilliant van if you're just looking for something a bit smaller for exploring. Beautifully done. I thought I'd just have a quick look at how much this Eco Wagon is, because it does look very nice. And I'm looking through the specification, looking through the specification, then there's all these big numbers which start to arrive. And then we get to the bottom number there, which is 140,000 no. pounds. That, it's a it's a nice van but that is really that's twice the price of our first home i mean it's got leighton van's full body kit on it's got eight thousand pounds worth of wheels apparently it's got six thousand pounds worth of self-leveling suspension you know it's got everything on it 
but... What's that 140,000 pounds. Let's have a look at these wheels then, if they're eight grand's worth. What have you found here, Will? Well, I wonder whether this could be the new big thing, because you've all heard of Ridge Monkey in the past. Yeah. Is Wolf Outdoor the new big thing to have? Because I tell you what, there's a, it's a big old stand. It's a big there's stand. loads, loads here, loads a of tech. Spin around. Got things like these rechargeable batteries, which you can just plug a USB cable straight into. They're quite cool. No charger required. Quite like that. Oh, yeah. Very but nice. You've got lots of pots and pans. So these ones, you know what these remind me of? Oh, a little bit Sea to Summit they are, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. Um, so I just think they've got so little kettles look that, and i tell you what that kettle is actually an in-between size from the sea to summit that we've got and the bigger one you think yeah i do okay. so that very nice beautiful little kettle there but it's just the general kind of look and thing? look and feel of everything Where kits. barbecue grill top oh that's a bit another kettle there. really nice kind of barbecue grills they've got just hmm? they've got some really funky looking stuff here and i just wonder whether this could be like the new version of ridge monkey okay so we are at the adria stand and you might recognize this van behind us it is the adria twin max which is built on the man platform uh, it's a big van it's a 6.8 meter one and we actually did a video up at wonder home on this van so we did it's about 40 45 minute video it's very very long so if you want to have a really good look around this van um, away from some busy crowds take a look at that on the link up here so we're here on the Bailey stand. We've got the B62 Endeavour and the B64 Endeavour. If you haven't seen our quick walk round video of these, please do check it out. Check out the link in the top corner. And we've hopefully got some exciting news coming soon for the channel of what we're going to be doing with Bailey on this B62. So uh, really looking forward to talking to you about that in due course. But do check out the walk round review. Hopefully it's your cup of tea. Right, so we're inside the Affinity Duo. This is a Coachman built on an MAN. Uh, it's a 6.8 metre long, but the difference with this one is it's the factory MAN chassis, which is or van, which has got the factory high roof in it. So if you've seen the Grand California 680 before with its high roof, it's not the one with the kind of forehead on the front, it's just a slightly taller roof. That's what you've got in here. And this is a van like you've never seen before. So we've got a side bed here. Ooh which is quite interesting in itself, which so does that, that feels, pulls out then, doesn't feels it? like it's going to pull out. Because you've got another bit there that you can slide in somehow, haven't you? You have. Aha, uh -huh. he's figured a, it out. It's a slider. Okay. So you've got that there, rear bathroom, uh, which we'll have a quick look at in a minute, and then all of your cupboards here. So let, let's just pop that back away. So in here, you've got Oh, a little hanging rail. Mini hanging rails and things. Nice. So really... Uh, it's a very different layout, isn't it? Really tried to give you as much storage yeah. as possible in here. That's an enormous bathroom at the back there and as then, well. Do you want to go and have a quick look in there? Let's have a look. Here we go. And then... So the bathroom is the entire back end of the van. There. Sorry, just again, oh, nice only one second. <laughs> Sink and the toilet, and the floor is completely flat. If I come back here, so there you go. Actually, see that through there, and then this is how that door closes on it. There, so that's really nice. And if you spin this, round, uh, paneling that you get on here too, that's padded, kind of creates you a bit of a headboard. Look at what we got in here. Hidden TV. Which it must. It must come out. I don't, isn't it? I don't know how, but don't there's force gonna there's it. gonna be a yeah, it'll don't be on it'll it. be on a thing so you can pull it out yeah. so you can watch it while you're lying in yeah. bed. And then at the front here is your little kitchen. So a couple your, of gas hobs, sink. Normal sink. You've got your twin opening fridge. Yeah. Load of drawers. And drawers and everything. So your total extent of your kind of dining area is this front end this. here so you do need to spin both of your chairs around but you also have this really nice kind it. of curved furniture here 
And again. There's lots of cupboards here. Oh, and I've just noticed there's a big cupboard under the bed too. Oh, it's a tiny cupboard. But just a little there cupboard. must be space under there. There's going to be some way that you can get to under the bed somehow, so maybe you lift it. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow! That's They've not skimped on storage. Good amount of storage <laughs> under there. Wow. Crikey. Very nice. Very different. And different. Nice to see something that's... Uh, They've done a bit of a different job with. And you've got some over the cab storage up here as well. So, okay. great. Colour coded there, the front bit or the bottom bit of the uh, the bumper too. So, all nicely matching. It's a good looking van with its higher top there as well. Go on then, hit me, Will. How much? 97,400. Oh, okay, so they've not breached the uh, the six figure mark on this one yet, quite. Not quite. It's a big it's van. Very though. close. It's a big van, this is 6.8, isn't is. it? So. It is. Excuse me for the scepticism with the order today for early delivery. I think it's about a year today since we ordered ours. <laughs> Well, I don't know whether that's a good sign or not, but we basically can't get near the Sven. <laughs> <laughs> Is that basically because it's pretty much the cheapest MEN-based van that's here? Well, you have to wonder, might don't be, you? Might mightn't it? It's rare that you see them with the uh, LEDs on and everything. Yeah. They look quite cool, don't they? It does look nice in black. It does look I nice. I think, it, to be honest, I think we'd find it a bit of a polishing nightmare. We would. in the sticks where we do. We would. We're constantly covered yeah. in mud. They do look good, so, though, don't they? Looks good. They do look good. And it uh, looks like Wonder Home have really dressed this one up ready for the show as well. Got some Look, the wheels big and tires black on rhino it. wheels and tyres. Wow! Looking very nice. We've queued, we've, we've queued, taken our turn. We've queued and we have our turn. In you get them. In I go. This is the black one with the black leather, so basically as expensive as it gets at the moment. And, and the one we couldn't afford. The one we couldn't afford. And they have on this particular one put some incredibly expensive wheels and tyres on it yeah. as well, um, yeah. which bumps it up a little bit further. But, uh, yeah, can't wait to get into our own. Feels nice, actually, without the table being in it. I haven't sat in one for a while without the table here. Just that little bit more space. Relaxing. Very nice. I am relaxing. My back's starting to ache. I do. Walking. I really... I hope we haven't made a mistake in not ordering the leather. It is lovely because it's got beautiful stitching on it. It's kind of a two-tone grey and black. It's, it's very, very nice. It's very nice. And it's so well made on the seats as well. They're not seat covers. They're actual recovering, proper yeah. recovering. Yeah. Beautiful. Can't wait to get our own. But if you want to see more on this Sven, we have done a full video on it, so do check it out. It was a very hot day. Well, to come to the NEC today, we have had to put poor Roxy into the kennels. She does love it there, though. She's going to be absolutely filthy when she gets home from running around in the field. But we haven't stopped thinking about her. And I do love the little Dometic kennel. So what's this then? The K980 the K980, yes. I think she'd actually really like it. It's bigger than her XL crate that she has at home. So... Uh, I think she'd actually quite like it. One day. One day, maybe. They're polycotton, aren't they, I think? Yeah, it's beautiful. Steve at Camper Fantastic here. He hires out Callies and has been doing so for years. He is your Cali expert in the field. And if you fancy trying one, whether that's a Cali 6.1 or a Grand this year on your holidays, do get in touch with him so you can hire one and try it. So now we are inside the ocean, if you hadn't actually recognised where we are. And these are the two new things that Yes Camper Van have actually managed to do here, which are these beautiful, properly handmade um, oak worktops. Are they, solid, are they solid oak? I th I'm pretty sure they they're are, solid of yeah. how they look. And he's machined these on both sides, so you've got this lovely groove in here. And what on earth is the word I'm searching Routed. for? Routed. Routed, that's it. And now on the back here, so it fits into your gas hob, look, and your little with the starter. gas burner with the starter thing there as well. And it absolutely fits perfectly. You're not going to get any rattling off that. They absolutely fit like a dream. And look at the shape of that that he's had to figure out to cut. So they're left and right. So, so you've got they your are left different. And your right. They are different. They fit perfectly. Can you close the lid? In place. Careful. Go, careful, careful, careful. 
Yes. Look at that, that is so tight. That is beautiful. And it gives actually, through the glass, that really lovely oak it finish as well. That's really does. pretty. It does. Wow. So you've got left or right, 75 pounds. So I'm taking it then that it's 150 for the two. But for this weekend, or for post show only, that NEC 24, I think will get you 10% off, which sounds Maybe. like a bit of more of a bargain to me, if you're lucky. But what a beautiful thing to have in your van. So just wandering around, this has just taken our eye. It's the Denby Balmoral Deluxe in beautiful Fontana Red. And I tell you what, this really is a stonker. So this is 68995. It's sold. So somebody at the show has fallen in love with it, which is brilliant. Can't blame them. Can't blame them. And it's got a fantastic pop top with nice red stitching around the edge of the canvas. But it's the body kit. I think it's the... Uh, Fantastic red leather it's got inside. It's got red blinds in there too with the white. Looks absolutely superb in here. And again, you've got lovely wood worked up in here, white cabinetry. It's beautiful leather, isn't it? Very nice. It's a really lovely conversion, that. Oh, feet are aching now. I think that is it for We're us. We're done. So before you go, let's just talk about our quick show highlights. So show highlights for you. It's too expensive, but I really like it. And it's actually this kind of wheel table thing, tire table, they call it. That's it. Out here, love it. Actually really like the concept of that. Great. Okay. Uh, and for me, slight difference in price. I love these cactus it vans. The van. <laughs> I want the van. I want the van that that's attached to. It is. It's me complaining it's expensive. Ooh, I tell you what, they, this van though, uh, both in the six meter and the 6.8 meter, both of them. Very nice. Super stunning vans. And I think in terms of seeing something different at the show where they've just pushed the envelope a little bit in terms of the quality, you know, those curves inside just made it feel Very nice. oh so good. So if you get the chance to have a look at a cactus at some point, then please do. They look absolutely stunning. Yeah. Definitely our pick of the show. Hope you've been to the show, had a good look round. If you have, let us know in the comments below what you liked, what you thought. If there's anything we've seen you've seen in the video which you think, yes, that's for me. Do let us know in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you again soon for some more. Come on time. time.